Okay, um, everybody on neutral. I'm a little concerned about October Sky. Um, well, you know, let's just do it. There goes nothing. So we will get full taming effectiveness on this. Uh, it's only gone down 99.8% with raw prime. And uh, should be a decent start starter Rex, but um, it's the baby that I'm actually more interested in because of the fact that we'll be able to imprint on it. And then, you know, depending upon it, how its stats compare to later Rexes that we tame in the wild, this could become our first breeding father too. We'll just have to see how all that pans out. The only thing that matters for Rexes is health and, and um, melee damage. Stamina is important to a lesser extent if you're gonna ride the Rex, but it's not likely I'll be riding Rexes in boss fights. Um, I'll probably be on a Uteranus most likely. Or maybe even a Therizino. I didn't even use you Tyrannus at all, uh, or Dadons for that matter, uh, through the whole entire Fjorder series. Um, the advantage of not having those two critters is you have two more damage dealing dinos, but of course then you have no way to buff or heal them. But they, we, we were pretty successful all the way around with all of our boss fights. Okay, and then 
grab the little guy right here. Nice. Okay, cool. That was pretty darn good, I have to say. Pretty darn good. Okay, I want everybody to chillax. I want everybody to be passive for a moment. I'm going to get all these um, spiked fences picked up, and then I'll, I'll get our critters uh, back uh, to the base. Let's get some meat on you. And fortunately, this is a juvenile now, too. It was, I think it originally was a baby, but now that it's a juvenile, I don't have to feed it directly. It can, you know, eat from the trough. Okay, so yeah, I'll get these spikes uh, picked up, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll show you uh, what the progress is that we've made on the treehouse base. Uh, right now, what I'm after uh, is cementing paste. So, so that's why I was out, you know, getting hitting the beaver dams. Uh, because we need lots of cementing paste to make... All of our new toys and I'm also going to start making vaults to store stuff in uh, too just because um, 75 mail uh, just because um, it's got they got so much more storage space than you know than the the wooden thing used to all right we got everybody safely back to the base here um, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to name you Chomp. And we're going to name you Chomp Jr. Awesome. Okay, so, um... Chomp Jr. Is Chomp Jr. growing really fast? 18.6. Yeah, maybe not. I, I thought I saw him grow just a little bit larger in front of my eyes. Maybe I did. It might have just been when it ticked. Uh, okay, so the first thing I want to do is... I want... Uh, we need to make a saddle for Chomp. I want Chomp Jr. to follow me into the pin so he'll stay safe in there for now. Uh, so let's see, we need this and let's put you on follow distance low. And I also want to make sure that you're on passive too. We'll put Chomp Jr. in the in the pin and then the other critters that are in there will keep him safe. Um, about the only thing that can get to him is uh, an RG. When he grows up, though, he's going to, like, take up all the space in here. <laughs> but we'll worry about that when the time comes. This pen is very temporary anyways, like most of the, if not everything, over here. Okay, cool. So Chomp Jr. should be fine there. Uh, let's look at imprint. Uh, imprinted. Oh, or, I'm sorry, wants care. Okay, so three hours. All right, cool. Um, I'm actually going to set my, my phone the timer on my phone for that. So I think, I think it said three hours and seven minutes. Cool. Okay. Um, now, we need to make a Rex saddle for Chomp. So let's get that going. And I'm pretty sure I have not learned a Rex saddle yet. And I know I do not have a Rex saddle. Get that going, and then uh, I'm going to uh, show you guys where we're at with the build. I've done uh, a little more work on it uh, since I left you in the last episode. I kind of wish Chomp was a female, because then it could start doing eggs, but yeah, that's all right. Okay, let's look at these stats. Um, 9,000 health in the wilds, not bad, actually. That's I think that's a fairly decent stat. Um, let's bump this up. We'll get that up to at least 10,000. And probably, at least for our boss, Rexes, I'll probably get their health up to 20,000. Stamina is pretty good, too. Man, that, that's not a bad, a bad stamina stat. Damage is a little bit on the lower side, but that's okay. That's what we'll, you know, we'll focus on leveling up mostly. Um. Okay, so let's see here. Where's my bird? I should probably just keep these spikes on the bird all the time uh, they're a little bit on the heavy side but not not too bad that way we just have them uh, when we need them 
Nice job, Chomp. Living up to his name already. Um, okay, so do, do, let's, yeah, let's grab all this wood, uh, all these other resources off the bird here. Okay, let's take a look at um, what we've done with the base uh, since I left in last episode. So I created a little um, extension here for getting up and down. One thing that's very doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me is this hatch, okay? If I open this hatch and then get on the ladder, I can't close it. There's there's no there's no way to close this hatch. I don't know how to do it. Don't know how to close it. So in a PvP situation, that's useless. <laughs> What's even worse is if this thing is closed and I'm coming up from down below, I can't open it, which is also worthless for both PvP and PvE. So what the hell? <laughs> I don't understand that. Anyway, um, all right. So let's see here. Let's um, let's get a a, a distant view first of the base. Uh, so I finished uh, or built a greenhouse across the top. I don't know if I had started that with you guys yet. Uh, so that's all done. We'll take it. We'll go inside and take a look at it too. Um, along the edge of the um, interior portion of the base, I'm trying to find a, a spot with better light. But uh, I put up those quarter stone walls uh, in reverse, so that little X pattern is facing out. I think that looks really cool. Uh, so we've gotten that done, and then in the back here, I have. Uh, built a stair system that goes up into the greenhouses. Uh, and I've also installed on both ends of the platform there a couple of uh, water cisterns uh, for our water. And, of course, I can put the, the the sap tap in the trunk there, so at least we have one of those uh, readily available. But the plan for that eventually is to have another platform, you know, to for those and probably the critters too. Um, yeah, okay, so we got that done there. And if we, I haven't done anything else yet on the inside except for put a bed down there. Uh, so this all pretty much looks uh, the same as it was except for with, you know, with these walls that are put up. And then let's go take a look now at the, the greenhouses. So we got this stair system that comes up here. And we just walk in here and all of these, of course, are 300% greenhouse effect. And the crops are already grown. Um, because of that effect and, uh, and I'm slowly building them up, you know, with fertilizer and so forth. And yeah, so very cool. We, ha we already have the crops coming in that that's, uh, that's so much faster than, you know, not having the greenhouse effect. Okay. So that's as far as I've gotten on the base itself, my next, you know, what I'm working on now or what I was working on until the, the Rex team showed up was, uh, some mini pace so that I can then make some vaults so that I can then start moving stuff up here and also, start making some of our high-end um, crafting stations like the cooking sta uh, the cooking industrial cooker, the Kim bench, those sorts of things, the industrial grinder grinder and whatnot. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's uh, where we are with the base. Really happy with how this is coming together, and I think it looks fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right, now, um, what I think we'll do, since I have you with me now, is why don't we hop on Chomp and and take maybe Al with us too, and maybe even Art. And we'll do a little bit of cross country over to the Beaver Dam that's off that direction and get some levels uh, on Chomp and yeah, have some fun with that. So try to decide if I want the Arch to come with us and just follow. I think I do just because I might need it for something. So let's see here. Yeah, let's um, let's have Art come, and you're already on on uh, far or long or whatever the hell it is. Follow distance. Let's put you on high. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, well, do you have any points? No. Okay. Um, Art's pretty strong. He's ten thousand health. And just about 10,000 melee, so he's a, he's a no joke, man. Uh, okay, so we'll leave Jerry Mathers here. We're not going to take him. 
And what I think I'll do is... Just trying to decide... Uh, maybe we'll bring uh, the raptor and the trike out. I mean, I could stuff them all in here, but especially when that raptor starts to grow up, it's going to be a pain in the butt. So I'd like to keep a couple guys out here, plus they keep the yard clear of nasties. And I just use cheese ball as the anchor for them. Uh, are you... Yeah, you're on neutral. Okay. So that'll be good. And let's grab our rapture here. Rapture's an, an imprinted raptor, so he's actually really strong in spite of his his uh, low level. And you're on neutral as well. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Let's close this. I've got food. Let's get a little more food. And I, I didn't have medical brew on me, obviously, when I was fighting the wreck, so that was fun, but we managed to survive it. Uh, we got a full canteen. We got food. We might... I don't know if we're going to get all the way up into the Arctic. That's a long way to go on foot, but I do need to go up there to get oil. Um, And if, I, and if we did, I'd bring some Freya, but nah, I don't think we're going to go that far. So we should be good to go. You have any levels? Yeah, I'm just, I'm mostly pumping weight and health on the otter. But I don't take it with me um, out, and, out and about until I need to just because I don't want to lose it. Alrighty, so here's the deal. We are going to... Tell you to follow. We might need to put October Sky on... Uh, a high follow too, otherwise she might be right up in our business. Case in point, right? Um, yeah. So. Let's do behavior follow four. Okay, let's go eat stuff and get this, get some levels on Chomp here. Um, in fact, he's already got levels. So I got his health up to 10,000. I, I went ahead and just took the stamina up to 2,000 because it matters when you're, like I said, when you're riding the dino. So that should be good, I think. Um, so yeah, let's start pumping melee damage, but I'm still going to put some more points into health too as we go along here. I feel like I might be forgetting something, but I don't know what it is. So let's go. All right, guys, our first Rex and not a bad one either. Not a, not a perfect in the wild, but pretty darn close, and had a decent um, starting health and stamina stat, so I can't complain about that. Let's start eating stuff. We need to find a, an explorer note, too, so we get the, you know, the buff. Let me look on the map here real quick. Um, oh, we can get rid of this. Uh, delete. So I have, uh, I had marked, yeah, I have two Explorer notes marked on the other side. This is where we need to go to get the some mining pace. So let's just work our way along the river, come here, get some mining pace. Then we'll cross over here and get that Explorer note. Got another saber there. Oh, they just aggroed the stego. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, we wanna we wanna get down to the river because that's where we're gonna really get into the action. Guess we gotta actually go this way though. Um, eating trees when you first start to level a dino will actually give it some points. Later on, you know, when you're starting to approach the end, it's not really worth it. But early on, 
can do it. Eat trees. Lots of fiber. What level is that arch? It's a uh, tin. Okay. I'm still on the lookout for a female Argentavis. All right, everybody's stuck, so get out of the way. There's a bear. What level is it? We're also looking for a nice female bear. I did find a 135, I think, along the river. But... It was uh, kind of far away, so... I might grab it later, I might not, we'll see. Oh, great. Managed to get some dimorphs. That Carnal's going, I don't want any of this, man. Uh, he changed his mind. Okay, let's put everybody back on passive for the moment. Because I want uh, the Rex to get most of the kills here. Level 55 Dire Bear. And we actually have points too. So, 12 points. Beautiful. Um, you know what? Let's just... Let's get the health to 15,000. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take it all the way to 20. And then every other point from there on out will just be into melee. It kind of makes sense to put points into melee early, though, just because then you'll kill faster and therefore level faster. But we're so, you know, yeah, well, okay, yeah, because of that, we'll keep it at 16,000 until we get the melee up, and then we'll eventually get it to 20,000. Okay, we got that figured out. Let's head on down the river and start eating stuff. Um, there was an, a level 10 Alpha Rex around. Look at that cool looking blue Rex. What is that? That's a 30 female with a baby. Hmm. With two babies. See, now that would be good. Are the babies also... Okay, one of the babies is male. See, now that would be good for egg laying. I'm um, just trying to decide if I want to do that right now, though. It wouldn't take long to knock it out. This is a really bad spot, though, to try and tame a dino because there's just all kinds of nasties around here. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's do, um, everybody stay passive, and that includes you too for the moment. Oh shit. What I was going to try and do is stand on the Rex and just trank it from there. Maybe if the other dinos could tank a little bit, because it won't take too long to knock this thing out. Thanks for taking one for the team, Al. Am I getting hit myself? I don't think so. Not too bad. Or yet, no. I guess I am. <laughs> Don't really want to knock it out in the water, though. So, Chomp, come here. There we go. Okay. You're a male, and a very low-level male, which is pretty much useless to us. 
Well, you know what? I guess we could keep it and just use it to stimulate um, egg lane. And it'll just be the, the egg lay, lane stimulation dino. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's what I said. Um, let's grab this. It won't take long at all for this thing to stand up. Um, okay, let's um, let's get everybody back to following Chomp, except for you. I want to fly around. Uh, oh, Chomp, you gotta not follow me. I want to fly around and make sure there's nothing uh, really nasty in the immediate vicinity. It's a Dodicarus. Seriously? I can't do anything about that. I don't care about not, you know, losing taming levels. That's not the point with this dino. Oh man, how do what, how do I deal with this? Okay, well at least it stopped being an asshole. Now, what's your health looking like? Eh, it's not too bad. It'll be fine for, again, we're just using this for egg lane. That's all we care about. Let's not piss off the bugs if we don't have to. In fact, it would be better that we don't kill this thing because it, it could attract the, the bugs. Okay, two more bites and it'll be up. So let's just fly around and make sure there's nothing else around. Like raptors, for example. Okay, the Dodic is up. Uh, I'd like it to just wander off. Oh, actually, can I pick it up? There we go. What level are you? 15? Yeah. You just go on your merry way there, dude. Ooh, what do we got over here? Level 20 Alpha Carnal. Beautiful. That's going to give us some levels. Um, We're pretty far away from Explore Notes, aren't we? At least the ones that I have marked. There's probably, you know, quite a few more around, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll have plenty of opportunity to kill more alphas. We're just going to kill that one directly after the wreck stands up. <laughs> We're not messing around with anything until the wreck stands up. Okay, let's grab you real quick. I kind of like your green color. Okay, you're going to be Mr. Mr. Egg. That's your name. And you're going to be... Uh, let's see here. You're going to be Mrs. Egg 1, because we're going to have Mrs. Egg 2 and Mrs. Egg 3, etc., etc. Okay. Cool. Um, I need to get these guys back to the ranch. Um, you're pretty beat up, aren't you? Eh, you're not terribly beat up. Let's give you some normal meat here. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Let's leave... Eh, we really shouldn't leave anybody here, especially with that alpha around. I'm trying to decide what to do. I, I really should take them back to the base. So I'm, I'll do that, and then I'll meet you guys back down here, uh, and we'll take on that alpha carno. All right, so we've got a alpha carno... I think it said 20. Yeah. And then there's that level 10 Rex. Pretty sure we can take him on with the whole group. Uh, it would really behoove us, though, to have a an Explorer Note buff when we do that. We would get so many points. Um, I think the other Alpha Carno is right up here. So let's kill it first, and then... I mean, that Alpha Rex isn't going anywhere. And that's more... Uh, it, it was kind of stayed in this area because I've seen it before. 
So we really should get an explorer note before we kill it. Um, oh, I was gonna. I thought that was an alpha carnal. It's just a a really cool red colored aloe. I think one of these might be a 120 male, but we don't really need a 120 male. We already have one. I mean, we need a female is what we need. No, that was just a 75. Okay, so, yeah, I guess there probably isn't a an alpha carno over here. So let's do this. Let's work our way down to the beaver dam. We'll get any, um, uh, some mini paste that we can grab. We'll run up and grab the closest explorer note, and then we'll come back and take on that alpha rex. All right, so this is the place, another place where beaver dams can be. What do we got, a piranha attacking? I don't see anything along the shore. I'll have to fly up to the hidden lagoon later too, but I'm not going to do that right now. Hmm. But yeah, there doesn't appear to be any any beaver dams around. Okay. Um, let's go here. Let's take a look at the map. So there's an explorer note there. Not too far away. Yeah, maybe we'll go for that one. Oh, I got a level. Nice. Um, right now I'm just really pumping health. I mean, yeah, let's just keep pumping health. Might as well. What was that theory? It's a uh, level, uh, a level ten. Okay. We are on the lookout for Therizinos, uh high level ones. I never did find that that purple bodied one that I was looking for the other day. It's still around probably, but Okay, here's the note here. All right, let's see what this has to say. As usual, if you don't care, I already know. Fast forward past the note, but I think this is a narrated one. Oviraptor philodotor is a small to medium-sized carnivore, common in the jungles and beaches of the island. Despite being a carnivore, Oviraptor's main source of food is eggs, which it steals from nests. Unlike any other creature, Oviraptor seems to be able to surreptitiously steal these eggs, usually without attracting the attention of an irate mother. In an incredible feat of natural selection, Oviraptor seems to emit a chemical pheromone that affects many creatures as an aphrodisiac. Mated creatures are much more likely to create new eggs while Oviraptor is around which allows the oviraptor to go about its business unperturbed. Too small to fight or ride, oviraptor is still one of the more commonly tamed creatures on the island. Its pheromone ensures an increased stream of eggs from nearby mated wild creatures for breeding, eating, or cooking kibble. Oviraptor will autonomously do the dirty work of stealing eggs from other tribes or wild dinos on your behalf without attracting unwanted attention. They also make quite adorable sounds, so many children simply like to keep them around as rather strange companions. Okay, so we will definitely be getting an oviraptor um, for the egg production. Um, supposedly, I guess they, they can actually gather the eggs too, but they have to be on wander, so you'd have to probably set up a um, a, a specific you know type of arrangement so that they can wander but still you know get the eggs. Right, we got a theory over here. 
level 25. Okay, I'm gonna actually do an in-game gamma. And I don't know. It, it just it washes everything out so much. When I do gamma in editing, it looks a little bit better than it does in the game. Yeah, let's turn that back down and then I'll um, I'll do a, a gamma in editing to brighten this up for you guys a little bit. If the rain goes away and the moon comes out, it'll of course be a little bit better too. Okay, let's get on back down to that. Oh, oh man, that is so cool looking. That red, the red obby with the clouds around it like that. What the hell was that? Okay, you know what? I feel a screenshot coming on, but we need you out of the way. <laughs> Let's go over and check this green drop. It might have something useful in it. Uh, did I just see an egg down there? Maybe not. We gotta get going though, actually, because we're on the timer here. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Actually, yeah, we'll take definitely take the wool. Um, and the fish. We certainly don't need the seeds. Okay. We can't say anything. Where you at, chump? All right, let's beat feet on down to the river and get that alpha T Rex killed. There is an egg. It is a guanodon egg. Nice. Okay. I'm not really, like I said, though, interested in making all the different types of kibble. We really just need to focus on making ex exceptional kibble, and it'll cover everything else. Except for thylos and uteranus, which we can take care of with um, mutton. Hey, if there's a beaver around here, there's got to be a dam around somewhere. I mean, that's the theory anyways. I'd like to take the Carno on separate from the Rex for obvious reasons. So let's see if we can pull it over here and we'll dispatch it first. Come on over, buddy. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's bringing a, a friend with it, but that's okay. It's going to need a friend. Hey! What the hell, man? Can't hit it because the of the sway. Come say hello to Papa. I'm going to put you guys on passive. So we make sure and get the kill here. No, don't. What the hell, man? All right, where's that the Rex at? I don't know. Let's just go for it. He seems kind of borked, like he's maybe his eight pathing is confused from me in the water or something. Uh, it's all right with me. <laughs> it doesn't. It works in our favor for sure. Now that's the first time he's attacked us. We're not going to have time to kill the Alpha Rex before our buff wears off, so we're going to have to go get another one. So let's just try and get this guy killed before it wears off. He's getting close. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now we got to watch out for the Alpha. 
let's let's move over well actually did we get stuff uh yeah we did okay let's move over this way because we're gonna have to go back up into the redwoods over this direction to get that next explorer note that i'm aware of what We got 11 points. All right, what we're going to do is let's get this to 400. Let's get this to 20,000. Look at that beautiful. Okay. Now everything else from here on out goes into melee on this creature. Um all right, that's a fairly decent pistol. It's not quite as good as the one we have, but not bad. And what are what are we wearing for chest? 30 28. Okay, so None of that stuff is upgrades for us. Let's take a look at the map here. Um, this we can delete. How do we... How do we get into this to, to uh, delete it? If I click on it, it just does that little ping thing. Do I have to... Double click on it, right click on it. I've gotten into them before by clicking, but I wasn't sure exactly how I did it. Waypoints. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, but how do I know? Okay, that one just says Explorer Note. I don't know if these are set up by proximity but let's just delete it from there, because otherwise, if they were all named Explorer Note, how do you know which one's which? You know what I mean? Okay, we're going to go after this one, and we're also going to take some time to heal the Rex back up before we take on the Alpha. We have an Alpha Raptor here. Man, it's taking a long time to kill this thing. Okay. I know that other raptor was chowing down on my other guys, but I didn't want to take the chance of them killing this alpha. Uh, 140 crossbow out of that. Still not as good as our 190, but still not bad. And that's really the main, the main thing there. Oh, and five levels. Okay. Let's just pump that right on into melee damage. Okay, I'm going to keep working my way towards the Explore Note. We will heal up before we do the note. Ooh, I like the colors on that Dodic. Level 35. Okay, so we're at the, um, the Explore Note. So I'm going to heal up the Rex first. We'll read the note, and then we'll see if we can make a beeline towards that Alpha Rex. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, that took a while. <laughs> I didn't. I, I not only healed up the Rex, but I healed all the other dinos too because they were, had some damage. I uh, got all the crap out of the inventory and we're ready to go. So here's the deal: for this particular explore note, we're going to grab it and then run, um, because you know we have a limited time to get to that Rex. Um, and yeah, so we're just basically going to head north and then kind of go along the river on the north side of the redwoods so if you're interested uh in reading the note just pause the the screen um and read it and then yeah so let's go paraceratherium gigamicus is a massive long-necked herbivore that inhabits some of the island's grasslands it resembles a gigantic horse slash rhinoceros hybrid but is over twice the size of either paraceratherium is a very peaceful and friendly creature Barring some surprises yet in store for me, I can safely say that Paraceratherium is among the largest mammals on the island. While its size means that Paraceratherium can provide an incredible amount of food, it also makes it dangerous when hunted. A beast of burden second to the Brontosaurus, Paraceratherium is an excellent worker and is sufficient in size to support a platform saddle upon which structures can be built. It is a naturally friendly animal and is not afraid of humans. However, despite its normally calm demeanor, when it or its owner is provoked by aggression, Paraceratherium can quickly become a real threat to the attacker and will use its girth to its advantage in combat.
Man, there's a lot of bears around here. That's a 40, a 5, a 25, and a 25. Okay, they're all pretty low level. Now we managed to aggro the bears. Whatever that bear is, it's pretty high level. Oh shit, it was a 150. <laughs> of course that would happen. Ah. Oh well, we'll find another one. We were already already in the scuffle. I knew it was high level because it was taking a long time to kill. Oh, there it is. Okay. So the plan is to have the other dinos help me get it down, but then I'll put them on um, passive right before the, the Rex goes down, so our Rex, you know, gets the points, right? Is that it? Is that an alpha? It must be. Nice, and Chomp got the kill, too. What did we get? Those are some nice pants, actually. Um, just slightly better than what we have. I'll take them. Okay, where did that alpha go? Uh, it was just right over here. There it is. Okay, um, everybody on neutral. I'm a little concerned about October Sky. Um, well, you know, let's just do it. There goes nothing. Um, neutral, hello guys, attack. Here. Oh, maybe they don't want to go in the water. Oh, now they're attacking him. Okay, good. This guy's tough, and he's only a level 10. It's kind of good, though, that we have him in the water so he can't go eat something else and heal. Okay. Everybody go passive. I'll take it from here. Got him. Excellent. And we didn't get shit for loot. <laughs> Only three levels, really? Because uh, we've already put most of the levels in. Oh, shit. That was hardly worth the effort, man. Oh, well. It was fun. We we did better with the, the Alpha Raptor that we killed. Let me just... I'm sure there's not going to be a bag down here, but let's just look anyway. Huh. Okay. That's a little disappointing. I was at least hoping we'd get some decent loot, you know? Okay. You guys all okay? Looks like Al got ba banged up a bit. Oh, he got banged up a lot. Dang. Okay. Uh, what about Car Carno? Carno's good. Art Carney. Alright, we should probably... Put some heals back on this guy before we do too much more. Um, just in case, you know, we run into something else. So, all right. Let's see. What are we going to do now? I think I'm going to run up to... I'm going to run up to the Hidden Oasis on the RG. Grab whatever cementing paste that I can. In fact, I might even go back over to where we saw that beaver and just look around a little more. I'll do that all off camera. And then when I get back, um, we're gonna make some. We're gonna make our crafting stations, or at least get started with doing that. Excuse me, and get them put in place in the treehouse. So I'll see you guys in a bit.